So people are saying, make a beat without samples. All right, you asked for it, so here it goes. What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. And it's me, they call me Heat. If this is your first time watching, I'm a music producer of over 10 plus years. And on this channel here, I show producers how to make some of the best boom bat style beats. So in the comments I read recently that somebody was like, hey, he, you should make some beats without um, samples. It's not that I can't do it. I like, I just like sample based beats. I like to use samples, but I know how to make beats without samples as well. But when you find your niche, kind of don't want to go away from that niche and that's why I do a lot of videos with samples because my niche is boom bap um, you know a sound that revolves around sample based strategies right so grabbing drums from a sample you know taking a sample or a loop from somewhere or you know anything whatever it could be anything that you can grab one shot that's what I come from that's the era that I'm from you know boom bap where it's all about sampling things like that so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make a beat without a sample and I I have some chords already that I that I've that I found and yeah <laughs> So that sound is from um, Arturia Analog Lab. And, you know, Analog Lab has a lot of dope uh, vintage keyboard sounds, things like that. So I went and just grabbed, you know, a preset called Ambient Keys. It's a vintage kind of keyboard. Of course, I, I mess with the attack on the filter a little bit, turn the decay up a little bit, um, turn the sustain up just or down a little bit. And it, you know. simple stuff like that that I can do and I like this preset I don't really know where I'm gonna go just yet but I found those chords and I just wanted to see what it sounded like first before I start doing things to it But I think I'm gonna go a different route with the with the pattern here. So instead of using the chords that I found that I had before, I'm gonna start over with something fresh, just so you can kind of see me start from the, the the top of building the track. So I have this kind of like a. So I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna build this pattern up really quick. I should probably go grab another analog lab because analog lab is the truth. Yeah. In case you didn't know. That's kind of a dope sound. That's kind of a dope sound. I like that. I like that a lot. I really like that. And then with Analog Lab, I can go in and I can like edit the, the sound as well if I wanted to but I kind of like where I'm at so far. Let me just rock with this.
all right y'all so i have the melody i just have those few sounds that i already put in there which is the analog lab four you know i just put like the main like melody um those synth sounds and i put like that top lead kind of sound i don't really know where i'm gonna go yet but i'm i'm just hearing like a dope melody and i put halftime on it and added just like this extra little section um to kind of make it like a full loop gonna be a pretty dope uh dope loop once i like i think once i mess with it i'm gonna like record the loop real quick and then, you know go from there now let me put it in the slicer here All right, let's drop this um, pattern in here real quick now. Now that I have it chopped up, found some dope drums, now I can drop the pattern in. Now I like the drums, and I'm gonna f try to mess with some bass, but I might switch those drums out though. All right, I switched the drums up. I changed the drums up, added a kick on top of it, like this. So I got that. So now, time for some bass. That's dope, that's dope so far. Yeah, that's pretty dope. So I found this dope piano from Arcade. And it just fits through the whole loop, like.
So perfect, so perfect. I'm gonna drop that in. I feel like that's probably the last thing that I'm gonna put in this beat. Of course, like drum fills, effects, things like that, yes, but for now, as far as what I have so far, this is good, this is good. Yeah, yeah, perfect, all right. All right, everybody, that is the end of the video, and I hope you enjoyed that video because it's been a while since I've created something from scratch. I've always been using like, you know, sample packs, of course, samples, things like that. Um, of course, I can make beats without samples, but I just rather use samples. You know, I, that's why I created my own melody, made it into my own sample, chopped it up or looped it, put halftime on it, but I can now go back and kind of flip the chops around and do weird stuff to it to make it dope, so yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this, you know, answers some questions to some people that wanted to see me make a beat from scratch. And this was my process. This is what I would do, um, you know, whether I was creating my own drums or creating, you know, using a drum loop. But you got to see me using a drum loop, me creating my own melody, chop it up, put effects on it, change it up into something different. Came out really dope. A little dark joint, added little um, ambient kind of keys from Arcade, which I like. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, appreciate you for watching. If this inspired you at all, or if you're feeling this, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe as well, okay? Um, and I hope this inspires somebody out there to go create, all right? Yeah, so until the next time, uh, make sure you join the Patreon, patreon.com slash they call me heat if you want any of the sounds used in this video, except the sounds from Arcade. I can't give you those, per, you know, can't give you those <laughs> they come in that vst so you have to buy arcade in order to get those piano sounds but everything else i will have available for you patreon.com slash they call me heat just come become a patron supporter of the channel join the producer crate if you want to pick up uh, monthly samples monthly drum loops i'm out of here y'all and until next time thank you for watching the video peace <laughs>